Good day everyone! Today we'll be reporting about Python and its role in robotics. Good day everyone! Python is a clear and powerful object-oriented programming language comparable to Perl, Java, Ruby, Scheme, or c -sharp. Four features of Python. First feature is Python uses an elegant syntax, making the programs you write easier to read. It uses dynamic typing and a combination of reference counting and the cycle detecting garbage collector for manually management. It also features dynamic name resolution, which binds method and variable names during program execution. It has filter, map, and reduce function, list comprehensions, dictionaries, sets, and generator expressions. Now that we know Python and its features, let's move on. What is robotics? Robotics deals with design, construction, operation, and application of robots. A robot is a machine, especially one programmable by a computer, capable of carrying out a complex series of actions automatically. A robot can be guided by an external control device, or the control may be embedded within. Top 10 Applications of Robotics Robots are used these days from everything ranging from security guards, chefs, doctor's assistants, customer service agents, and even a one-man army in war. There are many other applications of robots as well because of their precision and programming to perform various tasks that are dangerous, boring, or repetitive to humans. Robots can do all the physically demanding tasks that are difficult or impossible for humans, and they are even becoming smarter and smarter with advances in artificial intelligence. All in all, robots can be the perfect helper for humans and solve many problems in different industries. That will be all my report. Back to you, Ashley. Thank you, Haitam. Let's proceed. Python and its role in robotics. Python is a useful language to learn as it is widely used in computer science and machine learning. Python is the language that is used with the Raspberry Pi. This makes it highly relevant to the robotics because you can use a Raspberry Pi to control a robot. And there is something called Python Robotics. It is a project designed to create an easy to use interface for accessing and controlling a wide variety of real and simulated ro robots. So what is Raspberry Pi? Raspberry Pi is a low cost credit card size computer that plugs into a computer monitor or TV and it uses a standard keyboard and mouse. It is a capable little device that enables people of all ages to explore computing and to learn how to program in languages like Scratch and Python. Raspberry Pi can also be used as a brain to the robot to perform various actions and to react to the environment. And to develop a cross-platform desktop application, Python can be used. Python has modules like tkinter, PyQt to support it. Artificial Intelligence is a branch of computer science dealing with the simulation of intelligent behavior in computers. It is also the capability of a machine to imitate intelligent human behavior. It is the study of computer systems that attempt to model and apply the intelligence of the human mind. Computer vision. Examples of AI are actually face detection and color detection using OpenCV with Python. OpenCV uses machine learning algorithms to search for faces within a picture. Using machine learning, Python can be used to predict stocks, fingerprint identification, spam detection. Python has modules like scikit-learn, Tiaano, and TensorFlow to support it. Before we end, we will use a video as a recap. It is Fun Facts About Robots by Nat Geo Kids. Hey everyone, it's Kai again. I'm back with another amazing episode of Nat Geo Kids. And this week, we're talking all about robots. Okay, so I bet you're wondering, what exactly is a robot? Good question. 
Basically, a robot is a machine created to perform a series of actions. These actions could be as simple as roaming around the house, vacuuming up dirty floors, while other robots perform more complicated tasks, such as traveling to and exploring different planets, like NASA's Mars Exploration Robots, which were built to study the surface of Mars. And did you know that humans have been building robots for centuries? In fact, many believe the first robot was created over 2,000 years ago in ancient Greece by a man named Architas. Architas built a bird-like self-repelling machine that could fly up to a distance of 200 meters. That's like two football fields. Today, robots come in all shapes and sizes. Some are small, even microscopic, while others are large. In some cases, as big as a car or even a truck. They are flying robots, robots can drive, and robots that can swim. Robots can do a lot of things. Who knows, maybe one day robots will be able to do just about everything that humans can do. Scientists think so. To get us started, let's take a look at this first set of videos.